Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. Today we are testing the 6600 rig on Flux again. So I've done this video before, but there's been a whole bunch of updates uh, since I last did it. So we're doing it again. Um, so LOL Miner has had an update to increase the hash rate on the 6000 series cards, uh, which is great. That did increase the hash rate. Um, but you'll see I'm not actually using LOL Miner. So Mini Z, the last time I tested, uh, flux they had uh, they'd put it into their like update log saying that it was now working with AMD cards but it hadn't actually been like implemented it wasn't working I tried it and I couldn't get it working but now it is working so yeah we I've tested this out and uh, it's better the mini Z minor is better for the six uh, 6600s than lol miner is so yeah we're using mini z miner uh flight sheet i can show you just here so just flux wallet uh, the miner pool and the uh, config and the miner nothing really special in here back to sorry into the overview uh, so these are my overclock settings. Um, one random kind of funny thing is that my auto fan kind of didn't work very well uh, with this algorithm. You'll see here it says 0% for all the fans. I'm not really sure why that happens. I've had it on one or two other algorithms as well. Um, it doesn't seem to happen when I'm on Team Red Miner. So any algorithms I use on Team Red Miner, it doesn't happen. So it might be like a mini Z um, on AMD GPU thing, or it might be something else that I just don't know about. But because it's not quite registering there, uh, it was taking a long time for the fan speeds to catch up to the temperatures, because you'll see the fan speeds are still listed here. Um, well, it helps if I don't highlight everything, but they're yeah still listed here. Uh, and those are correct. They will change if I change the, cha the fan speeds. Uh, and the auto fan was still ramping up the fan speeds, it just wasn't doing it fast enough, so the temps were getting up to like 70. So I just had to unset auto fan and put a percentage in, and that solved it. Uh, but you'll see obviously now my temps are insanely low, um, just because there's not a lot of power being used, and they're 6000 series cards, and 70% fan is way too much. But that's fine, I'd rather have them too cool than too hot. Uh, so yeah, these are my overclock settings, 1400 on the core, 950 on the mem, and then all the uh, millivolt settings, so obviously they'll be different for everyone's cards, but you can kind of get a gauge of where they would be. Uh, 66, uh, 665 is the highest for the core voltage, 635 highest for the memory controller voltage, 1090 is the highest for the memory voltage, and 795 is the highest for the SOC VDD Max. So if you just start with all those numbers, you probably won't have a crash, and then you can try and work them down afterwards. So you just bump them each down by 10, like one at a time, and then reboot the rig, see if it's stable. If it's stable, you can try moving it down 10 more. If it's not, put it back up. Uh, yeah, so 181 point eight souls on average um, even potentially a little bit higher than that but yeah it's pretty solid and pretty stable uh, around that 182 basically mark um, which is about 22.7 souls per GPU uh, and then moving on to the wattage so the wattage at the wall for the entire rig including the system is 421 watts so if we subtract the system idle of 17 watts from that, then that leaves 404 watts, uh, which is what the eight GPUs are actually using. Uh, divide that by eight, and obviously you got 50.5 watts, which is shown there. And this is where it gets really interesting. So the efficiency is 0 0.449. So if we come over to the compare tab, 0.449, that is the highest 
efficiency out of all the GPUs listed here, including the 2080 Ti and the 3070. To be fair, these numbers will vary per like 3070, like some 3070s be more efficient than this. I know some 2080 Ti's are more efficient than this. Uh, it just depends on what model you get. Like if the Noctua uh, 3070s, they're really good, uh, really efficient. Um, something to do with the fans, I guess, and how, how well they spin. I don't actually know. Um, and then, yeah, the 2080 Ti, there's a lot of different models and the efficiency does vary quite a bit, especially like depending on how many fans it's got and whatnot, whether it's blower style, which model of card it is. So I know some of them are like 0.42 at least. I don't know about any higher than that, but like I've just just got a 0.44. Um, and if even if you want to be like a bit uh, less kind with your numbers and say, so we've got 182 souls, right? So 182 divided by 421, which is the watts uh, that the entire rig is using. It's still 0 0.432. And that number is the actual number at the wall, like power draw. And the actual hash rate that we're getting so even like just taking the entire rigs efficiency it's a 0.43 which is insanely efficient um, but yeah the actual gpu themselves just the gpu excluding the system idle 0 0.449 which is insane uh, everyone who wanted the overclock settings they're here again so you can line it up with whatever model you've got if you've got a power color you can use those exact overclocks if you'd like and start with those but just keep in mind they might crash the rig to start with and you might have to bump them all up by 10 or 20 millivolts uh, just to get well sorry just the four millivolt settings uh, you might have to bump those four up by a little bit just to get it stable first and then you can work on efficiency afterwards but yeah it's actually pretty crazy like i wouldn't wouldn't have expected that much of an efficiency bump i knew that the souls were going to be higher just because of uh, the update you know when i heard about the lol minor update there was claims of like quite a high like 20 percent boost in hash rate uh, which is crazy so i was like oh yeah surely it'll use some more power for doing that but actually like super efficient and this just makes me wonder like how efficient the 6700 xt is going to be like Obviously, it gets a bit bit of a hash rate, and well, I mean, even the 6800 and 6800 XT obviously can't test, but uh, I know that card is very efficient. So, yeah, redoing these numbers kind of makes me wonder where these numbers would be at uh, at the moment with the Mini Z Minor, because obviously I tested these. Uh, I think it was either G Minor or LOL Minor, but it was previous updates, so. There's a lot different since then. But yeah, so if anyone's now wanting to mine Flux on their 6000 series cards, it's now way more efficient. Just use Mini Z Miner, uh, and yeah, you'll be on par, if not even more efficient than any other cards. I know a lot of people like went around building 2080 Ti rigs, and uh, like just specifically for. Uh, on flux to make the most efficient rigs but now that you look at it a full rig of 2080 ti's obviously it'll have like super high hash rate because uh, they get way more hash rate per card getting 98 but you also have significantly less efficiency for the entire rig because uh, with the 6600s and all the 6000 series um, you don't need any rig fans like if you're in a place that has even like moderate temperatures like probably up to like 30 degrees uh, ambient temps 30 celsius um, you'd be fine running these without any rig fans like this rig that i have running right now these cards are packed in like sardines they're at 70 percent fan in the software except for that one it's at 90 i didn't even realize that was at 90 um but yeah we've got really low temps like between 31 degrees and 42 on the core and yeah around 50 on the mem 
like super low temps and yeah given the situation like they're closed up in a garage if it gets hot i can actually open the garage uh it's i mean it's moderate temperatures i mean it's about 15 degrees outside at the moment you can see my temperature thing down there although they are in a different city but yeah um really good cards and the fact that you don't have to have rig fans for them because they are so cool themselves just being undervolted uh, means that they are much more efficient than the 2080 ti's and 3070s kind of don't really have that issue you can run 3070s on a rig without rig fans at least the 3070s that i have um but yeah it's more of a issue with the 2080 ti's yeah so there's a really good option for mining flux and i also believe that the other um, 6000 series will uh, cards will also be uh, a really good option for mining flux uh, i just have to redo the testing obviously just to uh, see what the new numbers are because i mean even before they were like reasonably good efficiency 0.35 to 0.37 is pretty good but now we're up at 0.44 it's just so much better <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Uh, and if you'd like, there's a donation wallet for Bitcoin and USDT down in the description. Uh, and anything that gets donated to there will be used to purchase more GPUs to test on the channel. Um, yeah, have a great day. See ya.